Here goes one of the halves of Wego Jinx. Yeah, we're about to watch this movie called Old. And by the looks of it, we're not the only ones. It's nice to be out in the world again. And after this, we're going to go have some teppanyaki. Well, it's a yet uh, for here. Uh, it's a buffet. Uh, it's called Flaming Grill. Well, we'll tell you guys later, but it's a teppanyaki uh, buffet. It has like lots of stuff. So join us. Welcome, Welcome back, back and enjoy. And, uh, uh. Okay, everybody. Welcome, Welcome back, back, everybody. everybody. Here's a new episode of We Go Jack. <laughs> Welcome, Welcome back to, to another. Ga, ga, ga. Yeah! A few moments later. Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to a new episode of We Go Jinx. <laughs> Today's episode, we're going to a flaming, flaming grill, grill and buffet. buffet. It's a teppanyaki buffet. Teppanyaki. Uh, it does have American, as well said, American foods, American a little bit food. of Chinese cuisine, mm. but it's predominantly like sushi, teppanyaki, uh, mostly Japanese, Japanese. Yeah, Japanese. Japanese cuisine. Yes, so, so. And we'll be uh, showing you guys around. All right. Good choice. Go ahead. All right, we are here at the Flaming Grill and Buffet. We're gonna see what they have. Japanese cuisines, lots of sushi, lots of Mongolian beef and chicken, probably. Let's go find out. Let's do it. We got the hibachi over here. And... No, that's it. So here we're starting in the cold section. I'm gonna have some shrimp. Oh look, I got some kimchi. Gonna take a little kimchi. Oh, and this looks like some spicy calamari stuff. So I'm gonna take some of that. And look at the array of sushi. Sushi as far as the eye can see. I'm gonna just take one, cause I don't know what they are. Oh, they say at the top, look at that. Crab meat roll. Shrimp kani. Spicy kani, okay. Shrimp tempura, who doesn't like a good tempura, right? Christmas roll, and of course, the wasabi. <laughs> Got my chopsticks. Oh, low sodium soy sauce, because I don't need the excess salt. Let's keep it real. Right, so my, my plate looks rather full, but we will even half of the sushi. We'll come in this end later. Oh, maybe get a couple of some porous right now. Because, you know, they're looking kind of good. Alright, we are here. He needs a little bit more sauce, honey. Mm -hmm. How about that May fun? Let's try this May fun. Soft and chewy. It's good. It's good. It has a little fried egg in it. Some peas. Mm. Mm. And you got some platano, maduro, mm -hmm. some sweet plants, plantains, mm -hmm. and some coconut shrimp. That's the awesome thing about buffets, guys. You know, nice variety of stuff. I'm still working on my first plate. Right. Guys, I don't remember the name. Oh, what? It's like a delicious piece. It's got a little 
caviar on top. I'm aware that this is supposed to be for in-between bites, but I kind of like it on the sushi. Don't know why. Well, I suspect because a friend of mine told me to eat sushi this way. I don't know what kind of roll this is. I know it's some sort of tempura. There was tons of options, guys. I genuinely don't know. Boom, let's drop it. Mm. Mm. Wow. That was good stuff. Alright, guys, on to my second plate. Got fried crabs. That looks interesting. Uh, get one with an arm. I'll show you at the table. How about that? We love good seafood, baby clams. I know, guys, it looks like a lot. <laughs> it might be because it is. Uh, crawfish, head on shrimp, they just taste different. If you have never had a head on shrimp, try it. It's delicious, suck the juice out of its head. Uh, do I want corn? Nah. Yum, 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 and my tum, tum, tum. I apologize if the sound is bad, guys. Gotta wear a mask to go get the grubs. Round two, fight. Snatchies. So much flavor. You can, uh, yeah, you wanna take some pictures, all you gotta do is snap the little, hit the little button on the side. I guess I'm eating brains, who knows? But eat it. And here is the fried crab. Hello, guys. Now let's see if this is any good. I've never had this before, because maybe it's. Okay. The crispy crunchy. So I'm gonna say no. I do think like a little bit of seasoning on the outside versus having a little bit of butter. So you're getting that. But other than that, you know, it's okay. It's not my favorite. I think I'd prefer a classic uh, crab. Anything. You know, standard, boiled, steamed. It's pretty good. Nice hibachi section. We've got noodles, beans, salads, onions, peppers, jalapenos, mushrooms, pineapple, shrimp, imitation crab, steak, and marinated chicken. Uh, American section, I'm gonna say, because you got mashed potatoes, potatoes, corn. I'm gonna grab a pot sticker, a dumpling. See what else we got over here. This is our terrible fried food section. That chicken looks good though, can't even lie. A but I'm trying to, you know, get the, uh, you gotta get your money's worth when you come to a buffet so you get the seafood and such. So maybe, yeah, you know, fried, but it's shrimp, right? See, you know what I like, guys? Wonton soup. It's one of my favorites. Yeah. Got a soup cup. Wontons are kind of sitting at the top. Look a little dry on the one side. I'm not going to take too much. I don't want to get full. We're brawl. And we'll take one wonton. Oh, made a little mess. Sorry, guys. All right, and I guess for now, this is good. This is round three. Fight. Uh, round three. Hibachi chicken. My husband and I are no fun. I'm on plate three, and I'm virtually full. Maybe because <laughs> I ate popcorn at the movie theater. This is the prime rib. Like I said, guys, looks a little... It, it should be less cooked. It's 
Bum, bum, ba, dum, <coughs> What's the soup? Wonton, but I forgot a, a spoon. So, a little fresh. I'm pretty sure it is. No. Looks. I'm gonna cheat, guys. I'm gonna stab it this time. Only because this piece of the noodles, um, I don't know if that's undercooked or is because it was sitting out at the top of the soup, out exposed to the air. We're gonna say it's that. Let's try the, uh, the broth solo. Mm. Decent. Very good. It's a little better. Let me. Let me. I like this. And we're back from the buffet. Uh, full. Full, full, Very full. We're full. We're home. We're full. Uh, some quick notes about the buffet. It was clean. The food yeah. was delicious. They're still practicing some of the uh, like Rona stuff. So right. They had sanitizer so, everywhere. Masks they had everywhere. Of gloves. They asked that you wear a mask inside if you mm -hmm. were not eating obviously you're fine but if you went to go get food right excuse me you uh picked up anything wear gloves you know cover your face right regards to the food uh food was peace the food you know, was good it's nothing spectacular quite honestly typical um, asian cuisine yeah you know with americanized flair the sushi was I good. I enjoyed the sushi very much. The sushi was good. Um, also, the the uh, first like pickled things that I got, the um, calamari salad, like spicy cold salad, mm. and the kimchi. The kimchi was good. It was nice and spicy. Right. Didn't yeah. Complain. A uh, quick review for the old movie we saw. We Yeah, we went to a movie um, before dinner. This and... is a spoiler warning, by the way. Spoilers. Uh the movie was very uh, nah. weird. It was, nah. uh, you know, it's a, yeah. it's a bunch of group of people who came to an uh, as an island. It's about a, uh, it's a, like a psychological horror yes, yeah. film by M Night Shyamalan. Um, old. These about movies haven't been good in a long time. A group of people went to this resort, and turns out that if they got more than they uh, asked for, they bargained for. It seemed like people were getting old for no reason. Hence the name of the title. Uh. And as they were getting old, they were trying to figure out how to get, a, uh, get get away from the island or the beach or wherever they were from. And it's basically an evil, secret pharmaceutical organization trying to were cure... Were they evil, though, because they were trying to they were, cure things? Yeah. Yeah, somebody had to be the guinea pig guy. So uh, they were trying to cure diseases from Parkinson's to, like, dementia or, like... Everything. 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 And they were doing everything necessary to do it. Which means human experiments. Mm -hmm. Even so, uh, innocent children. Even were innocent sacrificed. children were sacrificed. Hey. So, if you're into uh, psychological horror films from M Night, M. Night Shyamalan, this is the movie for you. And no, it's not because it doesn't. It culminates to. Most the ending was bad. The ending yeah. was bad. So, uh, watch at your own risk, and that's my take so, on yeah, it. Yeah, it's it's like a play of. Um, the horrors that actually happened in the Holocaust where they used humans as actual guinea pigs in real life experiments. Uh, one of the primary bad guy uh, who's in charge of like the pharmaceutical thing has a German accent. I think they did that purposefully because of uh, the history there. So, um, so what would you rate it? It's a, it's a, it's a rental. Yeah, you know, if rental rentals do still exist, right? Bread box. Yeah. So yeah, it's a rental. Don't I go see go it. Out of my way to go see it in the theater. It was just meh. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. subscribe. Baby, it's a... uh, thank you so much. And I love all right, it. so bye guys. Bye. Until next time. Bye. Yeah.